Thought I was the only black sheep at family. <laughs> you might have seen this mask before due to V for Vendetta and the hacker group Anonymous using it. But do you know the origins of the story? More on that later. Today, we're going on a bit of a stealth camp to probably one of the best viewpoints in Halifax, Beacon Hill. It's got its own grisly history attached to it as well. You can see Wayne House Tower over there. If you haven't seen that video, go have a look at it. There's Peace Hall down there. I haven't been up here for a while and I've got a new tent and it's uh, one from Italy. And I don't think anyone's got, got one of these. Hey, up, look at her. Oh, she will stop now that camera's off. Wait for it. She was just roly poly in because I've got her a uh, got her a new jacket. It's a neoprene one. Someone said in my comments, try a neoprene one. So that's what she's got on. Come here. Let's show everyone your new jacket. Proper cool, aren't you? Eh? Yes. Yeah, so I don't think anyone's got this tent. I've not seen one online anyway, so I'll try and find a sneaky place to pitch up because it's going to be full of dog walkers up here soon. So I need to be out of the way. Hey, up, look, if you want to scan a QR code, it tells you all about the places here, Dean Clough the beacon itself which is there and also the dreaded 5g tower better get my tinfoil out on aren't i i don't want to frazzle up here this looks fairly flat here but you're my witness aren't you somebody else is trying to make a fire here but i'm gonna have my own bonfire tonight because it's bonfire night <laughs> Beat it. Not a bad tent, is it? Three pole design. Dark green. Two doors, two vestibules. A couple of tie out points. That'll do me for tonight. Or should I say us? <laughs> Look at that. All the twinkles are coming out, look. Ooh, bungee cord. We like a bungee cord one. That's not a bad little clasp either, is it? Don't know if you'll be able to see that. We'll have a good bungee, don't we? I hope they've left us a present in here. <laughs> Silly good job. Before I put anything else in, I've got to get me uh, get me bed set up because <laughs> no else fits in once this is blown up. Right, so that will look okay. Couple just walked past here, and uh, well, they couldn't spot me anyway. Mind you, it's not really. Can you see it? I bet you can't even see it from there, can you? <laughs> I'm gonna go down to the path and then. See if I can see it from down here. Oh no, you can't see out. You can just see poles at the top of the tent. If I'm not making any noise or out, then no one's gonna know that I'm there. But that means I can't talk to you. <laughs> we'll see. Absolutely love it up here. Haven't been up here for ages either. Overlooking Halifax town. Told you I'll bring all the comforts out tonight. You ought to see what I'm gonna be doing my bonfire on. Tiny, innit? It's from uh, Alp Kit. What it is, it's a uh, gasification stove. So, put that end on. I can't see out because I ain't got my headlight on. Put that on an end on like that that end on like that <laughs> it's me trying to do it blind that slots in like that so like that look all four sides on 
and that's your burning plate that goes inside it and then these two little things just go on top like that so then you can put your pot on top of it don't worry I'm going to show you in a minute <laughs> so then you can put your pot on top of it and make yourself a brew you see them and then you can still feed it in from this side pretty cool that isn't it I saw this on uh, there's a guy who does a podcast about um, camping and stuff while camping called Just Up The Trail and I saw it on uh, his Facebook page so cheers for that go check it out <laughs> well I just set my chair up and me uh, my bonfire <laughs> and it started raining hey dear but anyway it's gonna give me a chance to have a look inside this tent see what it's all about it's a weird material the outer fly it's not like the uh, usual type of polyester or sil nylon it feels like rubberized it's weird but we'll see how well that condensates won't we <laughs> well somebody likes the new pillows <laughs> don't you mate <laughs> he's snoozing out on my pillows already eh? <laughs> oh dear. you can't really see much because it's dark but it's got lantern hook up there it's got four big pockets big mesh pockets let me move that out there in each corner which is pretty decent and then the uh, fabric comes about three quarters of the way up and then all the way around you've got mesh and then fabric at the top of it I was going to come out and have a bonfire but it's starting to spit again now so let's just chill out for a little bit it's not a bad view though what are you sniffing? Yeah. Can't really remember much about the tent if I'm honest so I'll leave a link for it in description and you can go and have a look at it for yourself mate we just chill out a second old big head's coming in as soon as I start talking look <laughs> not talking to you she's dying to get on these pillows they're not yours mate they're mine don't want your stinky ass all over it <laughs> thanks so suppose you want to know about the mask don't you eh and the origins of it well the Guy Fawkes mask also known as the V for Vendetta mask or anonymous mask is a stylized depiction of Guy Fawkes created by illustrator David Lloyd for the 1982 to 1989 graphic novel V for Vendetta on the 5th of November 1605 a man called Guy Fawkes and his co-conspirators attempted but failed to blow up the Houses of Parliament in England. This was called the Gunpowder Plot. So every year on the 5th of November is Guy Fawkes Night or Bonfire Night as it's more commonly known. It's a night when we build large bonfires and set off huge firework displays to commemorate this. Hopefully we'll see some displays tonight but if not, I brought my own bonfire with me. That's if it stops raining, of course. You know, YouTube has brought out a new feature. If you're watching on a phone, have a look down here, and when I say, press the like button, does it light up? Now press it and see what it does. <laughs> does it do anything? It should do the same for the subscribe button, if you're not already subscribed. If I say, hit the subscribe button, does it light up? I'll press it. What's it do? <laughs> Does it give you loads of fireworks and stuff? <laughs> Tricked you into subscribing though, didn't I? <laughs> Thanks a lot. People forget what happens before bonfire night. Now, the night before bonfire night is called Mischief Night. And it's a local tradition 
where you go cause a load of mischief at night time you know it can be teens kids adults you know even vandalism they do a bit of vandalism some kids so what i was doing the night before bonfire night was i was egging cars and i pushed a couple of grannies over <laughs> i didn't really mate it's freezing i had to put my uh my gloves on but it's still cold up here <laughs> Just been on phone to Curtis, who's down in town, and he said uh, they could see me <laughs> from down there. So Grizzly Gas sent me his uh, location where he was, and I'm just there uh, scrolling through. And uh, don't you see that little dot there? That's our Grizzly Gas right on the tops. Oh, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Eh? Not right stealthy though. <laughs> Fire night. <laughs> you can really start to see the gasification now. You see them on each side. There we go, look. Lights up like a like a barbecue. <laughs> and who doesn't like a barbecue, eh? I like that little stove. It's not bad, but it keeps raining so I'm gonna have to take it into woods out and test it properly see what it's like but 25 quid not bad at all and it fits in your pocket as well so decent bit of kit but more testing is needed as per usual right, I think what we're gonna do now is uh, get his heads down I need to get these waterproofs off because they're doing me heading and I can't be going in and out at ten all the time so that fire's out now. Um, gonna test this tent out tonight, see if it holds up, and see if I can get any sleep on these pillows. I'm gonna say good night. Say good night over here. <laughs> nah, nah. Mwah. <laughs> can you hear that? Sirens going off. Is that an alarm to say I've been busted? <laughs> well, that was a cold night last night. Even though I think it only got down to about six degrees. It were cold. These double pillows, really decent. So I think I've found my pillows now, even though they are bulky and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> they're really warm as well because it's just foam like cut off foam stuck inside them my flames creed quilt still warm at this temperature so it says six degrees that it goes down to and i was warm inside it but the pad this double wide pad it felt a little bit cold at times especially on my bum on my backside i call it cold ass syndrome <laughs> but i get that when I'm in a tent rather than in a hammock always get it but like now I'm laid on my side and I can feel the cold in my hip whether this is at its limit for me this pad I don't know the tent last night I don't know if it leaked or if it was condensation because <coughs> Where the tight weight ties to the outer, there were wet patches on the inner, but it didn't rain that hard. I mean, you know, it were on and off for a couple of hours, but it wrote, it didn't really smash it down. So I don't know if it was just condensation or you know dripping down onto it, but it needs some more testing. So I'm gonna put it up in garden. Leave it in garden for a bit, let it get rained on and check it out in there. 
but I'm not going to be able to get back to sleep now because of my insomnia so I may as well get up and go to work <laughs>